And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition. Today, we're looking at Terrapin High and Hazy IPA. Uh, quick story about this. I was going to do a review of it, and all of a sudden, I was just going on and on and on, and then just the tape just went bloop, gone. So I'm just going to be a quick, fun review. I tend to do that sometimes, so I'm going to try to keep it under seven minutes. Uh, this is a Terrapin, of course, brewery based in Athens, Georgia. Five point, again, 5.8% ABV. Hazy IPAs now, I guess, seems to be all the rage that everyone is doing. So, to me, there's only one I think that's pretty good, and that's the uh, Sam Adams Hazy, New England style IPA, Hazy IPA. Which, again, the difference between Hazy and, and the other style IPAs, I guess, is just the hops. The hops more so than anything, so... Anyway, here's what the beer looks like. Not too bad, nice little color, very clear. So. Very fruit forward. Very firm and pungent, potent. Not too bad. Nice, firm, grapefruity taste I'm getting. Again, the hops I'm sure are there. Probably some of the usual hops that we tend to are known to see in most of these IPAs. Armadillo, maybe Citra, Cascade. Centennial type hops, but I'm sure of that but again very more fruit forward. There's sort of a feeling of a little bit of nectar in there Just a little taste of some Pears Kind of similar to the <clears throat> Luau Knuckles IPA which is you know their tropical IPA which is the one that Terrapin puts out as well Kind of getting those same flavors, but um Five point eight ain't bad, so it's not going to be overly heavy. So if you're going to consume all this for a good while, you know. So, um, yeah, the same kind of like I said, I'm looking at it for the first time in the back of the can. Kind of a little in the nectar, uh, some orange grapefruit. Yeah, kind of. Kind of saying it tastes like a tropical IPA, but um, uh, of course, uh, other IPAs they put out, um, their high five IPA, I guess, is their flagship beer. Um, of course, the Hopsecutioner IPA, I've had that, I've had their Bliss, I had quite a few beers from them, and we get definitely get a lot of them here in, in, the, in the Alabama area, so. Not bad. Um, well, I was going to say, um, yeah, so, and also, I guess a year ago, or maybe sometime the last year, um, the company was bought out by, or maybe they made an agreement with Molson Coors, so now it's under the Molson Coors umbrella, so at least have kept the beer in the Georgia area, and I'm sure, like all these mergers, we all know, most of the time, what it's really all about, it's about distribution, distribution, distribution. Now, um, Yingling, DJ Yingling Sons, of course, they have a partnership with Ying, with with Molson Coors. All it is is the same. We want to send our beers, our beers are Yingling, traditional lager, all their favorites, you know, out to the West Coast. And um, so far, things have worked out. Um, now, will Molson Coors offer a deal? Who knows? We can always see. Money talks, BS walks, as they say. So,
overall decent enjoyable not too bad a very decent IPA so I'm gonna I'm gonna give this IPA a B so this is gonna be a B plus excuse me I think this is really good we know his IPA is all of rage so B score B plus for me for the Terrapin High and Hazy IPA. Very enjoyable. Check it out. John Nissen Pierre, the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching. As always, cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Hazy, hazy, hazy IPA. Hazy, hazy.